Good afternoon, Marlene. Welcome to the class. Melanie, Melanie, Melanie. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. Good? Good, good, good. Excellent. That's good. Okay, there we go. Daniel, Daniel, welcome to the class. How are you? Ana Yasmin, welcome. Thank you, teacher. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing good, thank you. Okay. We also have Daniel Miranda. Daniel Miranda, welcome to the class. Thank you. How are you? Good. Excellent. That's the attitude. Okay, so thank you very much for your punctuality and being here on time in the class. I appreciate it. Yes, let me send a message to your classmates. Give me one second, just one second. Okay, anyways, so I sent a message to your classmates so they can come to the class because it's time already, you know. So this is the class number, let me see, let me see, let me see. I think we only have three more classes to go after this one. Let me see. Yes, so today is 13th, yeah. And after that, okay, so vamos a tener después de esta clase solo tres clases más. That's it, right? The 20, the 27th, and the 28th. And then we're finishing, right? So that will be it. Those days we have classes. So uh, this is the class number five, I believe. So we need to go uh, with the section or we need to complete the section three. So we're gonna do the exercise on section three today and the midterm as a review. Yo sé que ustedes ya terminaron la section three y, los, y el midterm, right? Yeah? You finished? Okay. Because today I'm just going to do a review. Just a review. It's not that we're going to do that together here. Okay. So uh, let's go with the review. Okay. We're going to go with section number three. Maybe there are some topics that we haven't covered because we are going to study those topics today here in the class, right? But for example, this one, we know that already there is... um. Take a look, a look at the map, read the questions and choose the right place according to the given directions, okay? So here we have a map where we have a public library, a shopping center, gas station, electronics, post office, Joyce Gym, all days department store, Prince grocery store, First National Bank, uh, here we have uh, the park. Obviously, this is a park. Mom and Pops Grocery Park. What is that? Parker's Drugstore, Tops Shoes, King Place Hotel. This is Rosa's Restaurant, Frank's Restaurant, and Jaminson, Hamminson. Hamminson or Jaminson? Something like that. Hotel. And there's something important as well, that is the first, these are the streets, okay? So we need to know the name of the streets because some directions are going to have the names of the streets. So first we have First Avenue, Second Avenue, and Maple Avenue. Then we have Pine Street and Main Street. So let's see, the first one says, is there a, near here okay so we don't know what it is so but the person is giving the location okay so with the location we're gonna know what it is the location says yes there is one it is on the corner of elm street and maple avenue is in the corner of main street 
so this is Main Street. No, Elm Street, sorry. It says Elm Street. What is the Elm Street? Main Street. Elm Street. Será que yo no veo, pero yo no veo eso de Elm Street. Oh, aquí está, aquí está. Right, it's sort of down there, excellent. And Maple Avenue. So I'm guessing, is there a hotel, right? That could be the answer. Next, it says, is there a, around here? Yes, there is one. It is next to Prince Grocery Store. Next to Prince Grocery Store. What is Pim's Grocery Store? Pim's, 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 Grocery Store, okay? So what is this? First National Park. Okay. So the question will be, is there a bank? Give me a second, you guys. Deme un segundito. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so it said uh, it was a... Wait, wait. Dice, hay uno, eh, there is... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's a bank, right. O sea, veamos el otro. Yes, there is. There's one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore. Okay, let's see Main Street. Okay, there is Main Street and Parker's Drugstore. So what is this? This is... Oh, days department store. So what do you think it is the answer? Park, Joyce Gym, or department store? Department store. Department store, excellent. Let's see the number four. Is there a Pine Avenue? No, there isn't. But there is one on First Avenue Main Street. First Avenue in Main Street. Okay, so what would that be? Cafe. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Cafe, gas station, or hotels? First Avenue. Gas station. It's a gas station? Yes, this one, right? Excellent. Good job. Let's see number five. Are there on Main Street? No, there aren't. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Pine Street, Pine Street, this one. So what the answer will be? Hotels, public library, or grocery stores? right? We're talking about stores. So what could be the answer? Hotels, public library, or grocery stores? Grocery store. Grocery stores, good job. Number six, is there a near here? Yes, there is. It's between the post office and all day's department store. It's between the post office. It's between the post, 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 post office. Where is the post office? Okay, post office and all day's department store. So it's, uh -huh, we know what it is. It's what? A gym, a shoe store, or a grocery store? What is gym. it? It's a gym, right? Excellent. Then the next one says, is there a on 2nd Avenue? No, there isn't. There is one on 1st Avenue across from shopping center. No, there isn't. There is one on First Avenue across from the shopping center. Okay, First Avenue across from the shopping center. So, look, this is First Avenue. So, across from the shopping center. So, what would that be? Electronic store, park, or bank? Electronic store. All right. 
Is there a around here? Yes, there is. There is one on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. The corner of Main Street and First Avenue. The corner. Look at this. This is the corner. So what would that be? Electronic store. Wait, wait, wait. No. What would that be? A public library, a payphone, or a drugstore? Again, it's a payphone. Do you remember when we had payphones? ¿Se acuerdan cuando teníamos payphones in El Salvador? Do you yeah. remember that? Yeah, it was a long time ago. There, there were some payphones that had the name Aló. You remember? Y los últimos tenían Aló, que es claro ahora, right? Aló es claro now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, where? Ah, pero, ah, pero ustedes usaron ya lo de tarjeta. Okay, yeah, yeah. And there and the, there were many payphones in the bus stops. Do you remember? Que en los bus stops habían payphones? En las paradas de buses, right? Yeah. Las paradas de buses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Antel. Yeah, Antel too, yeah. <laughs> a long time ago. Okay, is there a near here? Yes, there's one next to the gas station. Next to the gas station, look at this. What is this in text to the gas station? So let's see here. It's a hotel, cafe, or public library. Public library. Good job. Are there any on First Avenue? No, there aren't. There are some on Maple Street. Are there any Maple Street? So play, no, I mean, what? Yeah. Uh, Maple, first Maple, 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 Maple. Mm -hmm. Maple Avenue should be right. So what is this? Restaurants, gas stations, or grocery stores? Restaurant. Restaurants. Remember, it is correct to say resto, resto, restaurants. Okay, restaurants. Restaurant. Restaurant, no, right? It's resto, to, restaurants. Okay. Let's go. Now with the next activity here. It says, um, there we have to complete with much or many. Okay, before we go with that activity, I would like to clarify yesterday, we were practicing a little bit about countables and uncountables, right? So much mm -hmm. and many. We have much to talk about uncountable nouns and many for countables. For example, if I ask you, how much money do you have? Because money is uncountable. Remember that we said that? Money is uncountable. So we say, how much money do you have? But for example, if I ask you, how many children do you have? For example, your uh, hijos e hijas, right? How many children do you have? And you can say, oh, I have three, I have four, because children are countable. So keep that in mind. Much uncountables, many for uh, countables, okay? Let's see here. There is noise. Noise is uncountable, right? So we should use much or many. Much. Correct. Good job. There are restaurants. Restaurants is countable. So much or many? Many. 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 Good job. There is crime. Crime is uncountable. So much. Correct. There is traffic. Traffic is uncountable, so? Much. Good job. Much. Apartment buildings. The buildings are uncountable, so much or many? Many. Many. many? many. Good job, you guys. Now, a few and a little. A few, we're going to use it for, uh, let me see, a few. I have a few ones for costumes. Yeah, for countables and a little for uh, uncountables. So pollution. A few or a little? A little. A little. Shopping centers, countable. A few or a little? A few. 
A few. A few. There are schools. Those are countable. So a few or a little. A few. A few. Correct. A few. There is traffic. A few or a little. A little. A little. A little. There are traffic lights. A few or a little. A few. Excellent. Good job. What is a traffic light? Okay. okay. What is a traffic light? Okay. ¿Saben qué es oh, un traffic hola. light? No, but the traffic light, you know what it is? Are those things that have lights and you have to stop if it's red. You have to have precaution if it's yellow and you have to go if it is green. Eh, eh. Yeah, semáforo. Yeah, 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 yeah. So traffic lights, traffic light is semáforo, okay? Now, let's go here. It says complete this part by using isn't any or aren't any. Keep in mind count nouns and non count nouns. So what you have to do is isn't any, remember it is for singular, for, for uncountable nouns, and aren't any is for plural nouns, right? So taxis. Taxis is a plural and it's countable. So isn't any or aren't any? Aren't any. Aren't any, aren't any. Aren't. correct. Traffic, uncountable. So isn't, isn't any. Isn't any. Isn't. Their public transportation, isn't any or aren't any? Aren't any. Sure. Isn't. Isn't. Mm -hmm. Yo dijera bases, si dijera bases, si son countables, right? But in this case, is isn't any. Parking spaces, you can count the parking spaces. So isn't any or aren't any? Aren't, aren't any. A crime that we know already again is uncountable. Isn't any or aren't any? Isn't any. Excellent. Good job. So let's see. Yeah, we got them all right. Okay, perfect. Yo tuve un problema, no me reconoce una, una no me respuesta. Recono. ¿Cuál? En la... En la... 12.11 uh -huh. y la 13... La 3.13 creo no me equivoco. ¿Cuál ese, es el ese ya es el final. Sí. ¿Puede repetirme los números de las preguntas exactamente? La 12, la 2.11. 2.11 y. Y la 3. Punto, ya le digo cuál exactamente. Está ahí. Vamos a ver. So, because the 12.11, I think we did it already last week. Let me see. We're, we're going to check. And the three, uh, we're reviewing that today. Uh, two. So this two one? Le two, two, 11, mm -hmm. two point 11. Okay, can you tell me the number of 2.11? ¿Me puede decir cuál es el número de la uh, 2.11 que no le reconoce? Uh, four. Yeah. Cuatro. Oh, ok, porque seguramente está poniendo una tilde en lugar de una apóstrofe. Vaya, se lo voy a escribir aquí para que literalmente solo las copie y las pegue. La primera es la 4 y la segunda es la 6, es la ¿verdad? Where it wasn't. Sí, correcto. Ajá, cabal, pero no sé. Bueno, es que como el teclado del teléfono es sí, un sí. poco más. La, la tilde que va en la posta. Uh -huh. Pero... Ese es el problema. Vale, en la siguiente, ¿cuál sería? Dice la 3. Eh, Porque ahorita ya hicimos todas. Vamos a la 3.11. Y en esa solo tienen que elegir. Vamos a hacer una lectura y elegir algo. Eh, es de selección. Yeah. Ah, no, pero esa, esa, esa la, me salió bien, pero sí la. Pues ahorita eh, acabamos de hacer todas las de la PRI. Sí, pero no, para ella no. O sea, no estaba ah, cuando las hicieron. No me había conectado. 
Vaya, dígame ahí cuál es, pues, el, el número. Ahora es el de no lo encuentro, me ha escapado. No, hombre, no lo deje que se escape. Ay, quiero dejar ver esta cosa. Un de uraño. Sí, es el problema cuando uno tiene cocotas en los dedos, ¿no? Me aprieto donde no debe. El teléfono. Eh, sí, la, era, es la... La 3.9, 3.9... En la última parte. Yo creo que por lo, lo mismo de los apóstrofes. ¿eh? No, porque, o oh, 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 bueno, sí, los apóstrofes, sí. Donde dice Aren, Ten y dicen Eni. Exacto. Ajá, es la que acabamos de hacer. O sea, probablemente es eso. Vale, voy a continuar. Sí, yo creo que los apóstrofes son. Porque así como, así como las resolvimos, así las puse y no me las acepto. Vale, déjenme ver. Quiero ver si lo acepta si pongo are not. Pero, no, I don't think it yeah. Y ya intenté sin, oh, no, no. Sin, sin la contracción. No, solo con, con, no. con appropriation, ya. Yeah. Aren't ¿Verdad any. ¿Verdad que solo con la contracción? Ya, yeah, only with contraction, ya. Yeah. Bueno, voy a buscar aquí en el teclado una manera de, de, de cambiar el apóstrofo porque yo creo que ese es el problema. Ya, yeah, está Porque it. me acabo de fijar que sí las escribí bien. Igual, well, ok, ok. Bien, ahí entonces sería la... Ya voy, ver, ya voy a ver cómo las corrijo, ya voy a ver cómo las corrijo. Okay. Pero sí, Pero ya, ya identificamos el error, ya. Yeah. <ríe> ok, yo... 9, si mal no recuerdo, es para la... Para la... Pero él está en sí. el teléfono, dice, I think he's on the phone. Mm. Uh -huh, that's the problem. Ok, excellent. Well, we're going to continue, you guys. Uh, we're going to continue with the reading. And esta lectura la vamos a hacer, ok, everybody, we're going to do the reading. I'm going to read it for you. Lo voy a leer para ustedes. I'm going to read it for you. And then, okay, I'm going to send you an audio so you can read it as well. Okay? Listen to me. The were in one neighborhood. The sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Is it India, China, Romania? No, it's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens, New York, New York City. Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. The new residents bring many traditions. These traditions blend together to make Astoria truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like, says one resident. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. It isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable. The neighborhood is safe and it has very good public transportation. There are in expensive stores, many nice restaurants. Remember, resto, restaurants. And good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. In Astoria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy. As mm -hmm. one longtime resident says, why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Okay, good. Okay, let me tell you, I want to send you the audio.
Okay, I'm gonna send it to the group, okay? To the WhatsApp group, I'm gonna send you the audio. <coughs> Wait, ¿cuál es el grupo de ustedes? Okay, aquí está. I think this one. Yeah, yeah, okay. They were in one neighborhood. The sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Is it India, China, Romania? No, it's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens, New York City. Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. The new residents bring many traditions. These traditions blend together to make Astoria truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like, says one resident. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. It isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable, the neighborhood is safe, and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, and good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. In Astoria, is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy, as one long-time resident says. Why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Okay, so what are we going to do right now? We're going to do a reading, okay? A reading practice. So we're gonna go and we're gonna practice together with our classmates the pronunciation of this reading. Let me send you the material. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so this is just a reading practice. Do we understand? Yes? So don't just a reading practice. Pretty, pretty. Let me see. Okay. There we go. Alguien puede compartir pantalla, de hecho. So we can practice.
the store. One on the dean that makes the neighborhood special. It isn't surprising that a story is becoming a very popular place to lie. The rain, the rain, the personal, the neighborhood is safe and isn't, it has very good public transportation. There are uh, is inexpensive, inexpensive store, many nice restaurants, um, good fresh fruit and bread. ¿Cómo se dice? Bread? Veg ¿Cómo era? Vegetables. Best vegetable market and a story is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roaming as one long time resident site while I uh, anywhere else. A story house is all. Vaya siguiente. Yo sigo. Ahí voy. The sidewalks are clothed with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on corner is selling Chinese cake. A new song from Romania band is playing in a restaurant. Is it India, China, Romania? No, it is Astoria. A neighborhood in Queens, your city. Astoria was once a mostly great neighborhood, but the area in Chinese fast. New residents from Indian, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are the moving in. The new residents bring many traditions. The traditions blends together to make a story truly multicultural. When people are, espérate que aquí no alcanza a ver bien. When people are surrendered by different cultures, cultures, they like. Say one resident here, Astoria. No, bueno, hasta donde yo recuerdo cuando te enseñaron a decir I live in Cuatepeque o I live in El Salvador, no hay live. Entonces ahí tengo esa duda en ese verbo. Ah, sí. Ajá, porque ambos, ambos, eh, David y, y yo dijimos live. Live. Pero, ajá, Melanie dijo live. Pero sí, cuando uno lo busca y tiene más sentido por la IVA, decir live. Yo estoy tan acostumbrado a decir live y tengo esa duda. Si es live o es live, live. porque. Eh, no, no tradujimos. No, no, o sea, y, y, y decimos, literal, de, decimos literal la I sin, sin traducirla a la I por I. Entonces, yo ahorita sí tengo esa duda, pero creo que al buscarla el en traductor. <risas> ajá, si es live o live. Pero. Sí, sí recuerdo que, que cuando te enseñan a decir, ¿de dónde es usted? ¿Dónde estás? Uno like? dice, I, I, bueno, a mí I live. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Eh, ah, pronunciación de... ¿Cuál es la correcta pronunciación para la palabra L-I-B-E? ¿Live o live? Depende. It depends. Live, para decir vivir, viven y todo eso. Live, solo si se dice, por ejemplo, live television, televisión en vivo. Ah, ok. Entonces sí estaba bien. Entonces sería live, Melanie. Yeah. Ajá, en este es caso. Ya, ya. Yeah, yeah. En este Ajá, caso. Ya. Yeah. Sí, porque así es, era la, la, que, la, la incógnita, incógnita que tenía. Ajá, una de las... Qué buena tu pregunta, era... porque si no yo hubiera seguido el ignorancia diciéndola. Ajá, y, y sí había escuchado ambas, pero, pero sí, como que... Ajá, porque por, por ejemplo, sí, pero, Facebook sí. Live.
Okay, now we have the answers, right? So we're gonna continue. Let me see. So it says here, read the article. So we read the article already. Um, check the things you can find in a story. So we're gonna say if we can find this or not, yes or no. So we can find in expensive stores, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Big apartments? Yes. Yes, yes. Good schools? No. 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 Beautiful beaches? No. 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 Great markets? Yes. 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 Nice restaurants? Yes. 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 Many different cultures? Yes. yes. <laughs> Yes. Interesting old buildings? No. 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 Oh, no, right. Good public transportation? Yes. 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 Excellent. <laughs> Let's see. Excellent. We got all them right. Right. Okay. Good job. So we're going to continue now. And of course, we're supposed to go to the section number four. Well, but now I'm going to do the midterm exam, right? We're gonna do that to the midterm exam. Okay, so here we have a listening. So it's the listening activity first. We're gonna listen to it and then we're gonna answer some questions. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well. Yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No. But I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. Okay, we're gonna listen one more time. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No. But I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. Okay, now let's answer some of the questions. So one is Lisa visited Australia, Austria, or Korea? Australia. 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 How was the weather? Australia. Good, okay, or bad? Bad. Bad? Bad. Not okay. No, okay. It's okay. It was okay? It was okay, okay yes. Bad. Okay. You no, sure? because it isn't good and it isn't bad. But so Lisa, okay. Lisa, 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 Lisa yeah. dijo que estaba no good, not bad. Yes. Bueno, okay. Yo me voy a hacer lo que usted diga. Peter visited Indonesia, India, or Italy. Italy. How was the weather? Good, okay, or bad? Okay. Okay. Well, that case was okay. Okay. So now this is bad, right? Bad. Yeah. Is the first weather was bad. The second weather was okay. No good, not bad, right? 
Okay, excellent. Let's go with the next activity. The next activity says complete conversations, right? It says instructions. Complete the following conversations. You need to finish up with the double edge question words according to the response given. You can choose among, along, among long, good, often, and well, okay? So how do you work out? So it's talking about frequency, right? Every day, I'm really fitness freak. So what do you think it is? How long, how good, how often, or how well? It's talking about frequency. Si está hablando de frecuencia, ¿cuál sería? How often. often how often. often, correct. Next, do you play tennis? About average, I'm getting better, I'm getting better and better, so? Well. Well, well yeah. Number three, do you spend time at the gym? Just 30 minutes a day. Who has the time? Okay, so you're talking about the how long, right? Mm -hmm. You at soccer, I guess, is not really my favorite sport. How? Good. Good. Excellent. Let's go with the next one. Instructions. Complete the conversations. Choose the correct past for the verb given. Okay, so now we're talking about the simple past, right? We're talking about the simple past, and in this case, we have the first conversation, but we have the auxiliary, right? Did, so that is talking that I'm gonna use the verb in the simple present form or the base form. So did you stay or stayed? Uh, stay. stay. Excellent. Stay. What did you do? What did you did? Do. You do. do. I go, what is the past of go? God or went? Went. Correct. Mm -hmm. Or really, yes, we, what is the past of have? Had it or had? Had. Correct. Had. Where be, the verb to be for you in the past is, where or been? Where. where. Correct. Mm -hmm. I was or where? Was. was. Wow. And actually, no, at my, I met my friend there. We spent it or spent? We spent. spent. Good job. Perfect. Okay. Let's go to the part number three. Excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Yes, there is. There is around the corner. Any, one, or some? One. One. Good one. Job. How hotels are there in this neighborhood? How not much? How many or how a few? Many. many. Correct. There are a little much or a few? A few. Correct. Yeah. Is there public transportation near here? Is there much? Is there many? Is there one? Much. Mm. Much. No, there isn't one, any or none? Any. Good job, you guys. You're doing perfect. Perfect. Now we have to rewrite these sentences because they are not in the correct order. So we need to organize them. So here we have um, put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. Dinner, often, TV, watch, I watch after. So first what? We have the subject I is I. Watch. I often watch TV after dinner. Correct. I often watch TV after dinner. Then we have number two. In you coffee, they do drink ever. Do you drink? No, do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Okay. Do you of do you ever drink coffee in the evening, right? Excellent. Very doesn't Jeff much exercise. Obviously the subject is Jeff. Jeff doesn't. Jeff doesn't. doesn't exercise. Exercise very much. Jeff doesn't exercise very much. Okay, good job. 
And let's go to the last one. In here, we have an audio as well, okay? It says, listen to the audio, read those letter, then check for true statements. Luego vamos a verificar si son verdaderos o falsos, okay? So let's listen to it. Okay, I'm gonna read it, listen. Okay. Oh, sorry. What did I do? What did I do? Okay. Dear Ted, Berkeley is a great city. I really like it here. There's always lots to do. Every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee. In the evening, there is always something interesting to do in town or near the university. For example, I sometimes see a foreign movie or listen to live music. On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. I love the shops and restaurants, and it's a great city for jogging or inline skating. I'm really getting good at it. In Golden Gate Park, we always go to Chinatown to have lunch, and then we go walking or shopping in the afternoon. On Sunday, sometimes I like to play tennis with friends, or we watch a sports event like a football game or a basketball game on TV. I think American football is very exciting. Well, that's all for now. Take care. Hope to hear from you soon. Love, Ruth. Okay, so we're gonna do this reading. Se ve un poquito como blurry, verdad? Se como borroso. But I think it's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Wait a moment. There, I send it. Okay, I'm gonna send you the audio as well, so you can listen to it. Si ¿Sí les sirven que les manden los audios? Sí. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's sí. Okay. okay. Yes. Dear Ted, Berkeley is a great city. I really like it here. There's always lots to do. Every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee. In the evening, there is always something interesting to do in town or near the university. For example, I sometimes see a foreign movie or listen to live music. On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. I love the shops and restaurants, and it's a great city for jogging or inline skating. I'm really getting good at it. In Golden Gate Park, we always go to Chinatown to have lunch, and then we go walking or shopping in the afternoon. On Sunday, Sometimes I like to play tennis with friends or we watched a sports event like a football game or basketball game on TV. I think American football is very exciting. Well, that's all for now. Take care. Hope to hear from you soon. Love, Ruth. Okay, perfect. I think we're good to go. Yes, we're ready to practice. Yes, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Carla. Ana, Daniel, Elizabeth, let's see. Vamos a ver aquí quién es más. Okay, let's go.
Okay, so we're back. Let's see the answers to this. So according to the reading, okay, we're going to identify here if the sentence is true or false. So you're going to read the sentence and then you're going to tell me true or false. Okay, I'm going to choose different participants. Uh, let's go with Carla Sofia. Please read the sentence and then tell me true or false. Okay. microphone uh, read the sentences read the sentence and then tell me if it is true or false okay uh, she walks down telegraph avenue every day after class it's true excellent thank you uh, let's go with number two daniel She meets her friends for coffee in the evening. False. Excellent. Oh, she meets her friends in the evening. No, right? Okay. Excellent. Next, Anna Yasmin. She sometimes dances to live music. False. Okay. Okay. In this case, it will. In this case, it will have. Right, it's live music porque es música en vivo, right? Okay, uh, dances. Number four, let's see Herbert. Number four. Yeah. She enjoys going to say to San Francisco on the week on the weekend. True. Excellent. Let's go with the next one, Melanie. Microphone. She does like in like uh balls. Balls. Okay. David Celaya. Is that David? Okay. Uh, let's go with Hugo Alfredo. Sí, 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 aquí está, aquí está. Aquí está. Okay, ahí está David, okay. Uh, 
She goes shopping or walking after lunch on Saturday. Eh, es true. Okay. Eh, Hugo Alfredo. She plays tennis with friends every Sunday. False. Okay. Let's go now again with Carla. Microphone. She likes to watch football and base and best and basketball on TV. True. Okay. Let's see. Excellent, you guys. You did an amazing job. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, now with that being said, we're gonna go to the next part that is part number four. And in here, we're gonna listen to something different. We're gonna talk about adjectives and appearance, okay? So let's listen to this video and then I'm gonna show you what I'll explain the topic for you, okay? Let's see. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, you can listen there a lot of adjectives about appearance, right? Like how to talk about the appearance of a person. Let me show you. Have to share again. Can you hear me now? Now? Yeah. Yes. So now we're going to talk about appearance and describing a person. These are some adjectives you can use to talk about the appearance of a person. So first we have appearance, hair, eyes, face, and body. These are different uh things that you can describe and these are adjectives you can use to describe those things or those parts for example to talk about the appearance of a person in general you can say the person is beautiful cute gorgeous handsome Perfect. young or pretty stylish and attractive okay so this is to talk about the appearance in general of that person. Then we can talk about the hair, right? In the hair, we can say a lot of things as well as the color, right? First, we have long, short, straight, curly, wavy, blonde, that is rubio, black, brown, and bald. Then you can talk about the eyes, okay? You can say if the eyes are big, small, blue, green, brown, black, right? You can talk about the color of the eyes. Um, beautiful, expressive, and sparkling. Es sparkling para los ojitos enamorados, but sparkling. Then we have the face. You can say round, redondo, oval, ovalado, Square, cuadrado, this is usually like a characteristic of men, right? Men have square faces. Big, small, youthful, elegant, attractive, charming, right? Then we can talk about the body. We can say if someone is fat, Thin, slim, slender, skinny, petite, athletic, lean, and curvy. A person who is slender is a person who is skinny, but also is very tall. So it's like a long person, they look long, right? 
Um, then we have skinny, which is like a synonym to slim. Petite is that bien proporcionado, right? Yeah, petite. Athletic is with a lot of muscles, right? People that go to the gym, they are athletic. Then we have lean. Lean is good appearance, pero buena genética. O sea, no vale ejercicio, pero yeah, they have good appearance. And curvy. Curvy is the people who have like curvy. It's like, like curves, like 90, 60, 90, right? Like, like what we used to say, right? Lean, curvy. So that is curvy. So these are different adjectives you can use to talk about the appearance. So now, I would like for you to tell me the adjectives. Choose one adjective to, to describe you. Van a elegir un, un adjective para describirse a ustedes. Un adjective por cada uno, okay? So for example, you're going to say, I am beautiful, cute, gorgeous, handsome, young, old, pretty, stylish, attractive. I have long hair, short hair, straight hair. I have big eyes, small eyes, like that, okay? You're going to tell me the sentences. Y me las van a mandar aquí al chat. For example, para el primero van a utilizar I am. Okay, you can say I am this, I am that, I am, um, okay, I am. For the hair, you're going to say I have. El van a decir el adjective y luego hair, right? Then with the next one, you say I have the adjective and eyes, right? Again, I have the adjective and face. And the next one, you're going to say I am and the adjective, okay? So one, two, three, four, five sentences you're going to send me to the Zoom chat, okay? Describing yourselves. Is the activity clear? Nos vamos a describir, dice, y le vamos a mandar la respuesta. Así como están los ejemplos. Ya. Correcto, pero por el chat, ¿cuál? ¿De WhatsApp o de este chat? Zoom. Ya. Zoom chat. De este chat. Ya, this one. And only send it to English Corporativo, okay? So I am the only one who can see it.
Excelente, Daniel. Ahí les estoy mandando correcciones si es necesario. Ok, I'm sending. 
y los demás estoy esperando. I'm waiting. Hay errores que si uno no se fija es por el, el autocorrector del teclado. Yeah. I have a small green eye. A small. Solo uno tiene small green eyes. El A está de mal. Ok. Ya si no lo escucho nuevamente. I'm sorry. This microphone. Me dijeron ahí, I have a small green eyes. Y debe ser, as, I have small green eyes. Sin la A. Okay, without the A. Yo, el corrector se me... Ah, ok, ok. <coughs> ok, listen. Tomen lo que han escrito. Eh, solo me lo han mandado, de hecho. Let's see. Ana. David. Melanie. Herbert. Daniel, wait, 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 yeah, Carla no lo he mandado. Sí, fui la primera. Fui la primera, quiero ver. Really? 
pero no me parece segura que me lo mandó a mí oh no 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 ya vi Sí, no lo no mandó, pero ella lo mandó al, al público. ella lo mandó al público es cierto ya lo mandó al público ya me fijé en el público Ok, excelente oye ahí le corregí lo del yes ice ya 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 Ok. <coughs> Okay, excellent. Okay, so what are we going to do right now? We're going to describe ourselves to our classmates, okay? So we're going to say these sentences to our classmates, okay? Vamos a decir estas oraciones a nuestros classmates. Nos vamos a describir con ellos. We're going to describe ourselves with them, okay? Let's go.
Okay, so we're back. Let's see. Okay, so here we had some adjectives to talk about the like appearance, hair, eyes, uh, face, body, whatever, right? Now, here we have some other adjectives and well, like the same adjectives, un poco los mismos, but with descriptions, right? You can see pictures. So we have faces, I told you, we can talk about square, round, long and oval. The age, we can talk about young, middle age, and old, okay? Middle age will be the adults, eh, como de edad media, adulto edad media, right? So, no joven, no viejo, <laughs> in between. Then we have to talk about hair, we have difference, long and straight, we have wavy, we have medium length, short, curly, spiky, así como puntiagudo, ¿verdad? Pelo parado, decimos. And we have bald, right? Without hair. Then we talk about the build. This is to talk about the body. We can talk about people who are tall, medium height, or short. We can talk about fat, well-built, slim, thin, and skinny. But there's another adjective we can use to talk about the build. That is between these two, let's say. We can say chubby. This is like rellenito, right? Chubby between them two. Chubby. So I'm not fat, but I know I'm not with well built. So I'm chubby, right? Chubby is para decir estoy rellenito, right? That, that that sounds better. And thin and skinny, right? Thin and skinny. Now, David, chubby. Ah, o sea, very, 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 very chubby. Okay. What is it? Yo, I am very, very, very chubby. So. Very, very chubby. <laughs> chubby is between fat and well built, right? So here, like this. Okay. Between them two. Between fat and between well built. Chubby. So you're not fat, but you're not well built. Okay. And the next, let's see. Okay. Here we can talk about different adjectives or other descriptions about the body, right? These are some freckles. So these that you can see here, they are freckles. You can see beard, okay? You have a complete beard. Mustache, a mustache. This is a mustache. Freckles oh. is uh, pecas. Yeah. Mm. And then we have a goatee, which is like a barbita de chivo. <laughs> this is goatee. Uh, pigtails or bread, braids. This one are pigtails or bread. This is ponytail, a ponytail. Ugly, well, depende, verdad? La belleza está en los ojos del que mira, dice. <laughs> this is ugly. Cute and pretty. Well, the difference with cute and beautiful, for example, cute is a person who gives you more like a tenderness, que le da así como una ternurita. Yeah, that's cute. Then we have attractive and beautiful. So that's why because cute and pretty are like in the same part. And then we have attractive, beautiful, and handsome. Here, well, you can say a man is beautiful, but beautiful is mostly used with women okay and handsome is mostly used with men right so we have difference on those so handsome you can say uh, my father is handsome or my boyfriend is handsome or my friend is handsome and we're talking about women you can say my mom my mom is beautiful my sister is beautiful my friend is beautiful my girlfriend is beautiful right so this one is more for girls this one is more for boys this one cute and pretty you can talk about them both right you can say oh he's so cute usually when talking about babies <laughs> we say oh that baby is so cute right it's muy lindo like ternura right Okay, in the next class, we're going to talk about an order. Vamos a hablar de un orden que se le da los adjetivos. No solamente se dicen por decirlos. Hay un orden en el que se debe decir. So, in the next class, we're going to talk about that. In the next class, we have it next Monday, the 20th, okay? Okay, you guys, yes. have a good rest of the afternoon, and I will see you next Monday, okay?
See you. See you. See you. Bye bye. Take care. Bye, take care. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, take care. Bye, take care.